recommend I opened this door to be presented with this view, but I couldn't see maybe that far in front of my face, it was full of smoke. Howdy folks, so unfortunately we've got a bit of a bad update for the fish room this time. Um, I use a small oil filled radiator when it gets really cold and um, just to keep the, the temperature up in the fish room which is my garage you may or may not know and the other day it decided to explode and set on fire and fill my entire fish room with thick black acrid smoke. Luckily, it wasn't in the middle of the night and it was during the day and I found it reasonably quickly, but not before it had filled the full uh, fish room with this black smoke and the air pump had started pumping it through the um, sponge filters that I've got in all the tanks there. So it was a bit scary, but thankfully only a few fish so far, got good, cross fingers, have been lost and no humans were lost, but it could have been a lot worse if it was in the middle of the night and it had taken hold. So I'll just talk you through what happened and the lessons learned up front is get a smoke alarm fitted for your fish room now before it's too late. So it's probably quite hard to see the damage done on video here, but it absolutely reeks in here. The heater that Set fire was placed down here, and thankfully it's not actually destroyed anything. But this was all thick with soot. I've cleaned most of it off now, um, but it stinks. Absolutely stinks in here. Really acrid, smoky, tar smell, oil. Well, horrible. Thankfully, this little guy still seems okay. Um, I've lost a few. Trebensis and a few more looking a bit dodgy. Guppies, none that I've noticed. Probably about a dozen or so of the bristle nose fry have gone. You look at the rainbow blue, the neon rainbow tank. Definitely lost one, possibly another one on its way. Um, but I just need to keep an eye on them. This better doesn't look brilliant, but you know, the guppies seem pretty resilient. I think they'll survive a nuclear apocalypse. And the discus and stuff over here is fine. So, hopefully, I caught it quick enough. So, basically, I came in, I opened this door to be presented with this view, but I couldn't see maybe that far in front of my face. It was full of smoke. There's a garage door there on the other side of that curtain and obviously I can go out to my back garden that way. So I just opened everything up, blew it straight out, but by that time the air pump had been pumping all that horrible black smoke round for God knows how long. So if I get away with what I've lost so far I think I've been quite lucky because that could have been the whole house and the family and everything. That was in the middle of the night when that heater had caught fire or exploded or did whatever it was it did. Might not be here to make this video. But anyway, this little guy is doing brilliant. Eats everything you put in front of him. I think he's already getting bigger. Uh, in this tank I've bought 12, no, 10 ramshorn snails, which as soon as I put them in they've disappeared, but you can see they're in there because they're doing a job on the algae. So they are in there somewhere. You can see the odd one here and there. There you go, there's one over there. Tell you what, I'll give you a feeding before we finish this video. Straight on it. Now 
Well, that's it for this one. I think this guy is for hacking awesome. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.